Hey everyone, this time we read The Sierra Adventure by Sean Mills. Sean does a really good job of telling the story of Sierra Online, for, starting from their origins all the way up until they close their in-house development. The way Sean tells the story is by following the major games that Sierra released. So we're following like King's Quest, Police Quest, Space Quest, that sort of thing. And there are some holes in this, but a lot of those are filled in if you read Ken Williams' book, which goes a little bit more into the business side, where Sean stays mostly with like marketing and video games. I do have some problems with the book, but they're mostly just minor ones, and I'll get into those later on. So as I mentioned, in order to tell this story, Sean follows the developments of, you know, the King's Quest series, Space Quest, uh, Police Quest, Gabriel Knight, Quest for Glory, and Leisure Suit Larry. Now these adventure games were really the staple of what Sierra made. They published a ridiculous number of games as, you know, Ken Williams tried to just like, not really corner the market, but tried to get as much of the market as possible. He would go out and get a whole bunch of smaller developers under the Sierra kind of label and everything like that. It worked out really well and they were able to get a lot of different genres under their belt. But for the most part, we're going to be following the adventure games, probably because that's what Sierra is most known for. We get the origins of each series and also kind of follow their developments throughout the entire course of those series. By doing this, we can sort of introduce ourselves to new people as they come on board and also see how the technology that Sierra was playing around with changed over time. By going through all of this, we get slowly introduced to more and more people. And as we go on towards the end, we get their perspectives on how the company changed over time and eventually what it was like at the end of Sierra's in-house development. I like this approach as it, you know, it does tell the history of the company through the games that it's best known for. And I got to learn a lot about a bunch of games that I had never really played before. And some of them I didn't know anything about before reading this. There are two series that they talk about in here which I didn't know even existed, and that was Gabriel Knight and Quest for Glory. I just didn't know anything about them, so getting to read you know, a lot about the creators, the different decisions that went into making the games, and a lot of the troubles with making them, especially at the end, that yeah, was kind of cool for me. Now, Sean does bring up a lot of like the technological advances that Sierra went through, especially when they were changing engines and everything like that. I don't really remember Ken getting into that too much in his book. I know he talks about it early on, but I don't remember later on when he was talking about these sorts of things. So hearing about how the engines changed and how the different programmers had to sort of work around that and really train themselves on how to use those, that was pretty cool as well. Even though I did really like it, it did kind of feel like Sean was getting in the weeds a little bit. There were some things that I looked at and I didn't really think I needed to know, but I was still kind of glad they were in there, as I did learn a lot from this book. So let me talk a little bit about what I didn't like in this book. Uh, he'll throw in these like other stories, which I'm guessing he didn't think fit at the time, into these interludes between chapters, and they feel kind of shoehorned in for no reason. This was the only thing that I really found annoying about the book, and that really, and it really wasn't even that annoying, it just kind of felt like these don't need to be here or you could have rolled these interludes into other chapters where they kind of would have fit in better places. Now a lot of the interludes are short and I understand why he might have put them in there because, you know, they're not very long stories to tell, they probably don't need to be chapters on their own, but I feel like he could have found a way to work them into other chapters. So after reading Ken Williams' book, I did have a few questions still and a lot of those had to do with the game development. And this book kind of answers a lot of those questions that I had. I mentioned, like, it kind of fills in a lot of the holes that were in Ken's story. Especially since Ken gets more into the business side and kind of the relationship that he had, especially at the end, with a lot of the people that eventually bought out Sierra and his own frustrations with the company. 
we get we don't really get that story in uh, Sean's book because Sean's focusing more on the games. So it tells you the other side of the story where you get, okay, these are the frustrations of the people making the games. Whereas you get in Ken's biography, obviously his own story, and also you get a little bit of Roberta's frustrations as well. I really did enjoy reading this, and you get a lot of kind of the history behind the games at Sierra, and especially at the end of Sierra where you learn a lot more about the frustrations from the people making their flagship properties, and kind of how the people running Sierra at the end didn't really care about what they were making, and almost seemed like, yeah, we're doing these adventure games, but we don't care about them, so just do whatever you want, and we're going to screw with your development every chance that we can get. So if you're looking for more information about Sierra, this is a great resource for it. I still kind of like Ken Williams' book a lot more, but this one, I think, definitely fills in a lot of the things that I didn't get out of Ken's book. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great day, everybody.